hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to happy space if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome guys so this video today is going to be a QA. <laughs> it's going to be a pregnancy q and a i've filmed this video before but i had issue with the audio quality so i had to delete it and start afresh so yeah for the record we just hit 25 weeks pregnancy <laughs> Let's run the drum. <laughs> yes, we just did 25 weeks, you guys. I just finished my 25 weeks. Like I'm filming this video on the Sunday. So the previous week, which ended yesterday, was my 25 week. So I decided to come here and do a QA for you guys. And these questions, you guys, are questions I've been receiving ever since I got pregnant. And ever since people you know, um, ever since my tummy started coming out. So these are questions I've been receiving from my friends, my colleagues and everybody you guys so yeah i've drafted them down i just want to come here to answer all your questions <laughs> to answer all your questions you guys so yeah that's it just it i'm so so happy you guys i'm so 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 happy like the way this pregnancy is going i'm like ah, when did i even get pregnant that i'm already 25 weeks maybe it's like the six months you guys when did i even get pregnant that i'm already six months like i used to wonder i would say God, this God is just, it's just like, they go, I don't even know how to describe him. Like, God is so, so wonderful. Like, before you know it, you finish this week, before you know it, you enter the next week, before you know it. So, this particular week is my 25 weeks. I finished my 25 weeks, you guys. So, to the glory of God, it has not been easy, you guys. Being a first mom, this is my first time of being pregnant. Like, first time mom, thing. It has not been easy you guys and the baby has started kicking so that's going to be on another video i will film after this one so yeah that's it. just everything these are the q a this video is just on q a video question and answers i will ask this question and answer you guys i know some of you will be like these are the questions i want to ask you and i've received these questions from my friends as well so yeah let's get straight to it but before we go don't forget to like share do anything you always do with my video <laughs> so let's get straight guys before i start this question i've been panting so yes let's get down to the question number one the question number one says are you nervous about being a mom ah, i will not say 100 percent nervous i'm a kind of because is 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 an honor for me to be in to have a little one growing inside of me that i'll take care of for the rest of my life you guys so uh, being nervous, I will not total it 100%. I will just give it at 50-50. 50% nervous. Yes, I am. But on the other way around, I am not because I've been expecting this baby for a long time. And I'm so glad that finally I'm going to be a mom. So being a mom and the nervousness of it is just like 50% nervous. <laughs> Question number two say, who are you more? Okay. What are you most looking forward to about becoming a becoming parent? Like a lot of things, you guys. I'm looking forward to a lot of things, especially this my baby and you guys becoming new parents. I'm looking forward to a lot of things, which as the time goes, everything will just be unfolding itself, you guys. So yeah, becoming new parents. I'm looking forward to a lot of good, 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 good things, like amazing things with my baby. So next question say do you have plan on having another baby after this one definitely i have plan on having another baby after this one though my husband say he just this one but i'll trick him into it when the time comes so i'm ha i have plans on having another i don't want to i have a lot of siblings so i wouldn't want to bring in my baby only only my baby into this world without giving my baby a sibling so i have plans on having another baby after this one next one say what are some traditions traditions you continue you continue with your, okay what are some traditions you continue with your baby uh traditions are just for him for my baby to know god and normal tradition that we do in our house so my baby will just continue 
with it. We just like having a normal baby, having a healthy baby, and make sure that the baby goes in the way of the Lord. So those are the traditions I would like my baby to continue with. Number one, no, the next one say, do you have a bed plan? <sighs> bed plan, bed plan, bed plan. You guys, this bed plan then is... I don't really have one for now, but maybe when I enter my eight months um, pregnancy, I'll think about that, especially think about it with my partner. But for now, I don't have a bed plan for now until I get to my eight months. That is when I'll like consider one or plan have one. So next one say, how has pregnancy been? How has pregnancy been different <coughs> than I expected? Okay. <laughs> like my expectation versus reality of pregnancy they are two different things you guys because i expect pregnancy to be a a smooth smooth you guys you know how smooth journey all along but my the reality of my pregnancy you guys not the same that's my expectation that the reality is not the same this reality has really taught me not to expect anything like to expect anything anything in this pregnancy my expectation versus my reality are two 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 opposite that there are two different things entirely so yeah that is it my expectation of them was when i get pregnant i will look good i will do this i will do that i will do this i will do that so, you guys it's a lie when you're pregnant when you're experiencing the main pregnancy itself you will know what i'm talking about so yeah that is it next question say okay what are your spiritual beliefs do you believe this is god's timing okay yes i believe it's god's timing because this particular pregnancy it was not like it was planned even though i planned it but i didn't plan to get pregnant that particular month i got by took it you guys so i believe it's god's timing because when i had my you guys know my previous video on how I had miscarriages and uh, that no miscarriage and so on a topic pregnancy I had a surgery so this particular one I believe it's God's timing because when it's God's time for something to happen to definitely happen the other ones I believe it was not God's time for me to get that for me to be a mother then this particular one I believe is God's timing so yeah it is God's timing next question say what has been your favorite part of being pregnant <laughs> you guys my favorite part of being pregnant this particular one is very very fun anywhere i go to you guys that's my favorite part anywhere i go to like anytime i go to the bank to do some transactions i know with this covid19 uh, that the coronavirus issue that is the pandemic that is still on ground there are processes you go through before you get into a bank like you must go with collect a number uh, that it depends on the transaction you want if you are going to if you are going for customer service or if you are going to do other transaction you get a number wait until it gets to your turn before you go in but me once i get into the bank and i see this my big term it is like my lad come inside <laughs> come inside I won't even get a number, they will just usher me in straight and I finish my transaction. Another thing is people are like being like, it's not like they are pity, it's not, let me not use the word pity, but anytime I go to anywhere, once they see me with this pregnancy, anything I want, if it, if we are on a queue, they will tell me, come and do your own and go. So it has really been the, the my favorite. <laughs> favorite part of this pregnancy you guys like i receive favors like especially in a place i go to in a queue or if it's in a filling station or anywhere they will tell me mother they will just bring me in immediately they will just me in immediately without even without wasting any time you guys they will just like go inside go inside go and do your own because of your baby so yeah that is it so that has been the favorite part of this pregnancy you guys so no i'm not supposed to say any unusual cravings unusual cravings unusual cravings no i eat anything and during my first trimester was when i had cravings like unusual cravings but now 
I'm not like had any really unusual cravings like I eat anything that I see. I've not like had any unusual cravings throughout this pregnancy. Next one say, do you plan on making postpartum videos? <sighs> I'm still pregnant. <laughs> I'm still pregnant. When I deliver first, I'll think about that. Postpartum videos, fine, I will do it. I'll do postpartum videos. It's just like my normal routine, then I'll do postpartum videos. But let me first of all be first before I talk of postpartum videos. Next one say, do you have baby's room ready? <sighs> baby's room ready. I will not lie to you guys. I'm not going to do a baby nursery kind of do i will have a baby side it's just going to be like i don't even know how to explain it baby room you know, i'm going to just have a kind of arrange a small push, a small part of my house for the baby yes but to have a whole room entirely for the baby no i'm not going to have a whole room for the baby next one Nelson say, are you going to do freezer meals for after deliveries? Freezer meals, yes, I will do freezer meals for after delivery because it's going to help me a lot. That is where I will just freezer meal. Let me just explain this freezer meal thing. You don't like when you express your breast meal and store it in the fridge for or in the freezer for your baby. Yes, I will do that, but that will be like when my baby will be three months old. That is when I will start the freezer meal. But once as soon as i give birth to my baby i will not do that but it's once my baby gets to three months that is when i must have been going out so that is when i'll do my freezer meals next one say at what point did you start feeling did you start feeling pregnant at what point did i start feeling pregnant i think it was my two weeks i didn't even know i was pregnant it was my two weeks then i went to my aunt i started feeling dizzy i started feeling abdominal pains and everything so by during my two weeks that i started feeling pregnant that was even when i went to do a pregnancy test to know if i'm really pregnant so it was my two weeks that was when i started feeling pregnant so next question said do you have any fertility treatment have you ever had a miscarriage yes i've had a miscarriage before fertility treatment i will not call it fertility treatment because it was just i just that particular drugs that i took that's what i did to get pregnant i have a video of it i'll just link it in the card we'll put it in the card that particular video was just to monitor my ovulation to track my ovulation that was what i took those drugs for that i will not call it on that excuse me these are the signs of this pregnancy heart burn i will not call it 100 percent fertility treatment he just like i just used it to monitor to track my ovulation the drugs i took and what i did to get pregnant those drugs that i took so it's not like it's a hundred percent fertility treatment and also i've had miscarriage before so next question says <clears throat> when is baby due Hmm. I'm due. My due date is April. That my due month is April. But you know, scan they used to like the first one I did was 18. The second one I did said is 21st. So, but I know it's April. It's just like two weeks before and two weeks after. So it's going to be on April. That is in Belgium. We are in January now, February, March. That's in three months time. Next question say. What have you done for memories during your pregnancy? This thing I'm doing is for memories, you guys. This thing I'm really doing is for memories for my pregnancy, documenting, updating you guys, especially for my baby, you guys, updating you guys, documenting my pregnancy journey and everything. So these are for memories. Next one say, how old are you? Okay, I'm 33 years old and by that same April, I'll be 34. So now I'm 33 by April I'll be 34. The next one say, how are you doing? What scares you the most about having a child? <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing well. Like, how am I doing? I'm doing well. But this particular stage I am in now, like my thing, 
I've started having a lot of pregnancy signs, you guys, especially these six months. You guys, my body has increased a lot of changes on my body, you guys, and my appetite has dropped. So I don't know if it's normal for my appetite to drop. A lot of changes, but my the the thing is, my leg. I thought that I will have swollen leg by now, but my body is my leg is still the same. Like my leg is not swollen apart from my other part of my body, like my nose. My bed, that one is setting my tummy and my bed, my that's my bum has started increasing, you guys. So yeah, that's just how I am doing. For me being scared of giving birth, I don't think I am scared of having a child. I am not I'm not scared of having a child. So I'll welcome my baby, I'll welcome my child with an open hands, with love and so I'm not scared of having a child. Next question says, how is your husband doing? <laughs> Guys, if I tell you my husband, my husband every day, my husband has given a name to this child. <laughs> my husband is doing well. He can't wait for this baby to come, you guys. He can't wait for the baby to come. So next question says, what? Were you tracking your ovulation? Yes, I tracked my ovulation before I got pregnant. I was tracking, I tracked my ovulation very, very well before getting pregnant, you guys. So, next one said, Do you feel your pregnancy went by really fast? Really, really, really fast, you guys. I, it went by really fast, you guys, because the last video I did, I can't even, I think I will, I will check when I announced my pregnancy. This is now like the time is just going very very fast, you guys, and I'm like it. I just like how everything is going. Let's one say, how do you feel emotionally? Nervous, nervous, or still in oh. <sighs> this question? Like being nervous, yes. Sometimes I feel nervous, and sometimes I feel I'm still in oh because. Like I told you guys before, I I wanted to get pregnant, but not the way I got pregnant, you guys. I didn't plan, I planned getting pregnant this year, but I didn't plan the particular month I got pregnant, you guys. So, um, so, so, like, so thankful to God for the way everything just happened. And I'm still nervous, you guys, on this. Like, my then my percentage of nervousness is just like 50%. So, yeah, I'm nervous, and at the same time, I'm still in awe. So next question says, do you plan on quitting your job after delivery or work part-time? Uh, like I see how I've, I've not like made any decision on that and it's very very important for me to decide before giving birth to you guys so that to guide me on what to do or what not to do. So I've not like really made a decision. That is a very valid point which i need to discuss it with my husband to know if i'm to quit or not you guys but for me to decide i've not like decided on anything so next one say will there be a nursery tour what in my hospital bag or baby hall this is the last question baby hall yes nursery tour no what's in my hospital bag yes <laughs> i hope i've answered all your questions so yeah that is just the end of my video i'll do a baby haul when it's time for the baby i think i'll do this day i'll do a baby haul this uh, seventh month i'm going into uh, what's in my hospital bag will be when i just complete like like two weeks before my ninth month that is when i'll do what's in my hospital bag and or when I enter my 35 weeks or 36 weeks, that's when I do my words in my hospital bag. The baby hall, I'll do the baby hall on my seventh month and the um, baby nursery. Mm -mm. There won't be any baby nursery. So I think I've answered all your questions. So yeah, that is just the end of everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.